Hi, welcome back to another video. I I don't really know what this video is going to be, I'll be honest. I think I'm just going to take you along with me for a nice cosy little weekend in the studio. It is finally cooling down and not boiling hot, which I'm thrilled about. Feels cosy. I mean, it's starting to, it's currently cloudy outside, which is lovely. Leaves are starting to fall. It's the best time of the year. Um, I'm thinking about getting some paints out, which I haven't done in a really long time. I've been on a digital art frenzy for the last few months and I miss painting. I really do. And so I think I'm just going to do some little sketches just to get myself back into it. And then, yeah, I feel like I've been looking at Pinterest a little bit too much. I feel like none of the inspiration that's coming to me is genuinely mine. I feel like it's just very heavily inspired by the stuff that I've seen. So I'm just going to put that away, maybe put on a little playlist or something and just do some cozy little sketches, which I really would really recommend. Um, as much as Pinterest and art books and all of those things are really great and they are really fun to look through and they do provide a lot of inspiration and they're helpful if you just want to do a little casual sketch and you just need a reference picture that kind of stuff is very helpful there is a limit that I like to use those kind of things though because I do just think they just seep into you and I don't know sometimes it's nice to just access some bits and ideas and stuff that are genuinely locked and loaded already in your brain and sometimes just eliminating all the other stuff helps you find that a lot quicker so I think I'm gonna get a little cup of tea and just do some sketching. Welcome to the portion of the video where I talk at you for a while and you watch me paint. Um, thank you for being here first of all, thank you for letting me share this part of your day. It's, yeah, a pleasure to, to be hanging out with you. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about autumn and this time of year in general because if I haven't been harping on about it enough, I really truly love it, but I haven't always and it's something that I've probably really fully leaned into in the last maybe two, three years. Um, and yeah, I wanted to talk about it because I know that this time of year can be a little bit triggering for some people. It marks the end of summer. Some people really struggle in winter. Um, and this kind of feels like, oh God, we're getting into that time of year. And it feels like this thing that's like looming over me because I don't enjoy it and listen I get it I do get it winter can be long especially if you're in England it's not the sunniest of places and so it can get a little bit you know gloomy um which is something that I love but not everyone does and I get it I however feel sometimes like the opposite summer for me can be a little bit of a bummer like I really I love summer I for the nature and I love seeing everything come to life I love seeing everything in bloom um, in some ways I love the energy of it it feels like everything's bustling everyone is excited everyone just wants to be outside which I really love um, you want to kind of be outside as well like it's just there's this like weird pressure to like go outside and enjoy it all the times maybe it's because we know we don't always get nice weather here in England so when we do it's like you have to make the most of it um there's some things I don't like about it though like I I'm a pasty gal I do not like the heat I have spent so many years in my youth <laughs> like I'm not selling it um in my teens and in my early early 20s like trying to force the tan out of my pasty skin and I just burn it doesn't happen um and I've accepted that now and so the idea of like covering up in this heat is not fun and yet I need to because I I burn and so the, the fashion side of it although completely minute and irrelevant and just so unimportant 
is sometimes a little bit of a struggle for me because I'm like, I just don't feel like me, you know? I, I don't feel like I can fully dress like I want to. Um, and this year was like probably the first time where I was like, oh, actually, you know, I'm starting to feel like I'm figuring it out. But I don't know. It's just one of the things that I just don't really love. I also feel like everyone, even if I'm not doing something, I feel like everyone else is. And that kind of sometimes can create this weird thing of like, am I you know, not making the most of life, am I not doing what I need to be doing, you know, you go on Instagram and like everyone's on holiday or doing something fun and exciting and that's amazing for them and I'm so happy for them but even if it's not something that I really have ever thought that I wanted to do, it can create these like weird feelings of like I should be doing that, right, like I should also be doing those things and while in some cases maybe if you know you want to but I don't think that it in my case is always in alignment with what I actually want it's just like this weird perceived thing of something I should be doing and so all of that to be a really long way of saying I don't feel like summer is my time to thrive if that makes sense um a lot of the things I really love to do are things at home I love to create I love spending time in our home art studio these are the things I love to do and when the weather's nice and you just feel like you need to be making the most of it I'm like kind of battling with myself and I don't know why I do it I should just still do what I want to do but hey ho um so when we get into this time of year it does feel like everything's starting to slow down a little bit the days are, before you know it, quite short. Um, you notice that, you know, the sun's coming down earlier, it's getting up later, and the weather's getting colder, which I love. Um, people tend to kind of shift a little bit when it gets to the end of summer. There isn't this like crazy hustle and bustle of energy of like, oh my god, I need to be doing something all the time, and I've got this planned and this planned and this planned. It feels like it slows down a little bit. And as someone who is quite naturally an introverted homebody, it just feels like I'm in sync with the vibe <laughs> and the energy of nature. And I really love that. And a couple years ago, I found, I think her name on YouTube is Darling Desi. Um, I found her videos a couple years ago and she really leans into autumn and winter and all the seasons when she romanticizes all of them but it was the first time that I come into that concept of like really fully embracing all the things that you fully romanticize and miss when you're not in that season anymore and ever since kind of doing that I've just fallen in love with autumn even more. It's like so fleet, it's such a fleeting season. It's gone before you know it. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like because of that, I wanna really fully embrace every single second of it and everything that I love about it. I just wanna enjoy as much as I can before we're in the chilly kind of starkness of winter. And so, yeah, that's kind of really been inspiring my artwork a lot, as you can tell. Um, I love making little whimsical and cosy, comforting paintings and drawings. And for me, that fully encompasses what this time of year feels like. I feel like it is an incredibly comforting and cosy time of year. And it is just, yeah, I don't know, no end of inspiration for me when it comes to my art. And so... I've been thoroughly enjoying it um, and so these little paintings that I'm doing here were kind of just something to loosen me up a little bit. I haven't done any painting in a really long time, I've just been doing digital illustrations and I wasn't sure if I would be a little bit rusty and if I would struggle and I feel like I really didn't. I feel like, I mean I'm really proud of these paintings I'm really happy with how they came together every single one of them I was very very happy with I feel like gouache is my wheelhouse now I am so confident and comfy in my technique and I really just feel like I am getting so much more comfortable in my art style which is always I'm sure ever evolving and ever changing as I change and evolve but 
at the moment I just no longer feel like oh you know this person makes really cool art and I want to do that I like my art a lot and I want to create more of my art and as much as I adore and appreciate and admire other artists and their work I no longer look at them and think oh I wish I could do art like that you know I feel like I'm really at home and happy with the work I'm making and that feels amazing to be able to say it truly does I've kind of reached that point of the day where it's a bit too dark to do anything else so I'm gonna call it a day and then finish this little painting tomorrow. I really like it, I really miss painting. There's something so satisfying about moving paint around and blending paint and just layering things up and if you make a mistake having to work with it or trying to fix it as opposed to just undoing it like you would in Procreate so I'm having a really lovely time. But I think I'm just going to put a film on, have a cosy little evening and maybe do some crochet or something. And yeah, just hang out. So I don't know how much of this evening I will share, but I will see you tomorrow for the next round of painting. Cheers. Um, it's Sunday. I want to say morning. It's not. I've been queen of procrastination this morning I have been trying to like get not better I've just been trying to put more effort into like sharing some like short form video stuff so like I had TikTok on my iPad and I I don't understand anyone that can have it and not spend hours scrolling on it I just, it's so addictive um so that needs to be deleted otherwise I'm never gonna any I'm never gonna get anything done um this camera angle is weird I don't like it yeah, that's, that's better. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the crochet projects that I've been working on because I'm so happy with them. Um, crocheting is something that I do when I want to make something but I just want to chill. I just want to put on a film or something or a series and just chill on the sofa with a nice cup of tea and yeah, channel my inner Mrs. Weasley. And this... I love it so much. This is what I've been working on um, and I really love it. I learned quite a few new stitches in this and it was so fun. Don't look at the back. It's a lot of ends to sew in but I'm really happy with it. It's going to be a little cushion cover and I'm really trying to find some nice, I'm thinking like gingham fabric for the back. Um, very excited with this. I think it's so cute, so autumnal. There's always a part of me that is like I love the idea of creating for a living and that being like almost like my small business and I do sometimes dabble around the idea of like exploring textiles more because it is, it's very time consuming but it is just, I don't know, I do find it very enjoyable and it's so separate to me. This is just purely out of an enjoyment thing whereas art for me is like very personal so sometimes blurring the lines between selling stuff and just making stuff out of like love and passion for it um is a little bit tricky so yeah i don't know maybe this is 
a potential future project. I love this so much. It's giving me witch vibes, giving me autumn vibes. Again, Mrs. Weasley, I love it. And then I'm also, that's not what I was working on yesterday. When I said goodbye to you yesterday, I, wait, I was making these um, little granny squares. I'm obsessed with making granny squares recently because they're just so easy um, to do. And also they, it's really satisfying because they grow really fast. So like you're maybe doing stuff for like 20 minutes and all of a sudden you've got something to show for it. Um, I think the thing I really struggle with, especially textile stuff, is how long things take and it can be quite a slow process and it's not as instantly gratifying as I guess granny squares are. So if you're new to crocheting or anything and you kind of just want something as like a little hobby that kind of feels satisfying because it feels like you're actually making something, I would, I would start with some granny squares. Um, although if you're like me, you will end up with a massive pile of them and just never do anything with them. This is the first time that I've like committed to making something. Um, so these are just some cute little granny squares that I've been making. I'm thinking about making either like a little, I don't know, like a little cushion again or like maybe a little blanket although I know me and cushion covers are very like feasible this was fine this size absolutely fine blankets you expect me to make a blanket and not get bored I can't promise that I can't promise that I'm going to be able to do that so this is the orientation that I'm working with I really like how this looks but the issue is is that if I'm going to do a cushion cover I mean I could do a rectangular one um but I don't really know what to do here. I was just gonna do like two more little granny squares and put them here. And I kind of played around with that yesterday and I didn't really like that. Um, so I don't really know what to do because if I'm gonna square it off, I probably need to do something around here and then down here. But I just, yeah, I don't know what that is yet. I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I'm not following a pattern or anything for this. So I'm at a bit of a pause for this because I want to figure out what I want to do before I then make another granny square because I don't know what size I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to change it up and do like a different thing for this corner but I think it would look a bit weird if I don't carry on doing the granny squares so I'm not sure um, but I'm happy with it, I think it looks cute, I like the colours. So that's what I was working on yesterday, I think for today I want to finish off the painting, I'm really happy with how it's coming together and it's quite nice as well because Yes, I was painting it in, it was quite dark, so I want to get that done before the light goes. Can't believe we're having to talk about that kind of stuff again now, already summer just whipped by and the only thing about autumn winter that is a little bit like, ah, is that when it comes to having daylight to like paint and stuff, it's, it's very short, so I need to get better at getting more engaged in the mornings because it's, I think it's like nearly three. Oh no, it's five to two. And I'm only just getting started with the day, so never mind, not to worry. There is something so satisfying about the combination of colouring pencils and gouache. I think they were meant to go together, honestly. I think. The textures that you can make with the colouring pencils add so much because gouache is so flat and I love that about it but it's quite hard sometimes to create like these three dimensional yeah textures when you're kind of working on something that ends up always looking so flat um, so I think pencils really help with that especially with this I was really struggling to get a vibrant enough orange um, and this little pencil here was my best friend on this day because it just completely in two seconds did what I was trying to do in about 20 minutes working with the gouache. I was just really struggling to mix a vibrant enough orange and to be honest I probably don't have the right colours um, to mix the colour that I really really wanted from the paint and so that's maybe why I was struggling so much but it doesn't even matter, I've got the colouring pencil so I don't need it. <laughs> My initial thing when painting these was just to do something, I just wanted to create something, paint something, just to get back into it, just to loosen up 
that little part of my brain that works while I'm painting and I actually now think I want to make some stickers from these little sketches not all of them I think probably the cat definitely a pumpkin maybe the bat I don't know I need to have a little think I think of like a third one if I do a third one at all it feels like I should three seems like a good number um but they will probably be up on my shop I'm gonna get a very limited amount um so I would recommend following my Instagram if you reckon that that's something that you'd want to keep your eye out for I would follow my Instagram because that's probably where I'd update to say that they're available I'm hoping that they'll be available in the next couple weeks um but yeah I'd recommend that just a little plug for my shop <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm running out of things to say about this painting, so instead I'm gonna talk to you about some things that I've been really enjoying slash loving, my little monthly favourites if you will, starting off in no particular order with reading. I'm not gonna say too much on it because I feel like I've spoken about it in every video for the last couple months but I've been really getting back into reading recently and I'm loving it and more than a book it specifically that I wanted to talk about it was just reading itself it's so nice to get off a screen but to still have that nice entertainment that little world that you build in your head and getting attached to these characters and waiting to find out what happens to them and feeling like you're just getting to know them way more sometimes than like a tv show I don't know it feels very nice very personal love going to a coffee shop and reading love waking up having a little read going to bed having a little read just getting those little rituals in those little habits so that I'm not on my phone as much very very enjoyable second of all Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift now I loved Sour um Olivia Rodrigo's first album and I love Guts equally both incredible as far as I'm concerned they take me back to being like eight or nine screaming in my bedroom along to uh Avril Lavigne <laughs> it's that same like angsty energy love it was screaming along in the car earlier to it um Taylor Swift though is someone that I kind of not I didn't look down on her I looked down on her music and I want to take that back and say that I was an idiot for doing that because just because something is poppy or in the charts or is backed by a lot of people who you would maybe call like fangirls or I don't know like just you know the kind of vibe that I'm I'm talking about something being very very popular and that doesn't make it cringe and I think that maybe I'm the only one that thought that but for a long time I kind of was a bit snobby about it and that was very judgmental of me and very silly of me because I was actually depriving myself of enjoying something that was very fun and it's just fun and like I don't get me wrong I don't love all of her music some of it genuinely just isn't my cup of tea but I was listening to Evermore the other day in the car and it's just perfect for this time of year first of all second of all smash the bangers on that <laughs> i was really enjoying it and i just wanted to say that i was very silly for judging it and i'm enjoying it now moving on to things that i am either excited to watch am watching have watched etc practical magic is a must watch for this time of year if you haven't watched it you should pause this video and go and watch it now um I've never wanted to be someone more than I've wanted to be Nicole Kidman in that film. I think she is so cool. Her outfits just made me want to throw out all of my clothes and replace them with hers. I, she is so cool. I recently watched You've Got Mail, another perfect film for this time of year. Very cosy, very cute 90s rom-com kind of vibe. Really loved that. It was like the perfect film to watch while I was crocheting and just so cozy autumn in new york i've never been to new york it's somewhere that's massively romanticized and i've heard just smells like piss but <laughs> sorry it's not like london's any better you know or like any city in um in um the uk but 
I have. I've just heard that it's dirty. Anyway, um, Twilight is another film. Um, sorry, I don't. The, the New York slander, it's a joke. I want to go there one day just to see, you know? It looks nice. I'm just saying it's funny how much it's romanticized compared to, like, I'm sure the reality of it for someone who's not from there and isn't, like, who doesn't get it. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Twilight. Duh. Of course. Oh, I've just beat my mic. Of course I'm watching Twilight. Of course I'm watching New Moon around this time of year. I'm also eating every day, you know? It's a given. You have to watch it around this time of year. I don't have any time for Eclipse and Breaking Dawn. They aren't a thing for me. I don't really love them. I think they're pretty awful. And I think Twilight and New Moon are also pretty awful, but they are nostalgic enough to me to allow me to see past it. And also the soundtrack to New Moon is so good. And Twilight but especially New Moon. Um, Coraline is on my watch list. I've never seen it and I don't know why I haven't because I know every time I've seen a clip of it, I'm like, I know I'd like that. So I just don't know why I haven't put it on. But I'm gonna, this year is the year that I watch Coraline. Maybe I should wait until October because I know it's a bit spooky, but it's on my watch list. And finishing off with a morning walk as my favorite thing uh, for this time of year. I'm sorry to keep talking about autumn, I'm sorry, and I'm not going to talk about it in the next video, I promise, but can I just say that getting up around seven, half seven, looking out your window and seeing mist, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, but that is the perfect morning. Going outside and it being chilly, I'm like, oh my god, I have to wear a jumper? serotonin boosted boosted up <laughs> i love it i love a morning walk around this time of year way better than summer hay fever who i'm with the mist i'm with the dew and in a couple months time there's gonna be frost let's just leave it there because that you can't top it um I'm going to do an outro, so I'm not going to say bye too much because this video has still got a few minutes left, but thank you so much if you've got this far, first of all, and I almost feel like I need to apologise because um, God knows what I've said, I've just sort of been talking like you're in the room with me, um, and as I said that, that creeped me out a little bit, so I'm going to go now, but thank you for watching, I genuinely do appreciate it, like I said, this video isn't ending, there's a couple minutes left, um, but I love you, bye!
Hi, it's me from the future. I realise I never actually filmed an outro for this video and it's been about a week or so since I last filmed but watching this back was just so satisfying to me. I've not done this amount of art in a really long time. I was just really feeling it. I was very much in the mood to create and I'm really happy with the things that I made. I love the little sketches that I did. The ones that I did on my iPad, um, off camera, I kind of continued to develop them a little bit more and I made sort of this little spread, I guess, um, that I wanted to make a carousel on Instagram with. It wasn't necessarily, I wasn't making the art for that, but I just figured that that could be something that I could do that would translate well um, into a post. And so I made this little yeah, this little thread, um, and I feel like these are so cute, um, and I was really happy with how they came out. I just, I'm getting more and more confident in my own art style and the way that I'm approaching things. I think when I first started to venture out of just drawing the mice and the things that I was comfortable with, I would really, really struggle, and I feel like I would need to kind of practice just drawing on my sketchbook, um, learning how to draw people and all of that stuff, but I feel like I'm just, I'm getting there, I'm getting more confident and it feels really good. Um, I think I, I also put a poll out on Instagram and I think I'm going to make a calendar and it's like the end of September and I probably should have started working on this a while ago, but I'm determined, I want to do it. I think, you know, I have a couple ideas, loose ideas of what I want, but I think I'm just gonna be grafting on that for the next month or two because really I have to come up with 12 new designs, 12 new pictures or whatever that I can use in a calendar, which seems daunting, but I think I can do it. I think it's achievable. So that's what I'm gonna be working on for the next couple weeks, I would imagine. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. So if you got this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It feels a bit strange sometimes you post videos and then you don't think about anyone watching them. So to see that people are and to hear from you in the comments as well just honestly makes my day. So thank you so much for letting me into your day. And I hope you've had a lovely one. I hope you are going to have a lovely one if it's the morning when you're watching this. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Like and subscribe and all of that jazz and I will see you in the next one. Bye.